YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy, Staff TV, man. Yeah, man, this is... This is, like, somewhat of a reminder. Um, and I, I want to... I want to, uh, you know, just put this one out there. This is, like I said, this is a reminder. And, you know, what, what guys just, like... Uh, tend to do and it still goes on man is like the, the things I always like to push is man stop tripping over you know your exes man because it's like it's like you break up with her but you mad because she glowing up and and you have like this hatred of her. You want her to uh, still be miserable over you, or just still be in this weird, uh, you know, be in a bad spot, man. And there's nothing you can do. And regardless what you do to her, she's gonna move on. She's she's gonna glow up and move on. Um, find bigger and better things, if you know what I mean. Getting dug out by other men and once you either lose her or let her go, that's what's going to happen. And the reason why I'm, I say this is because, uh, you know, this is one girl, like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if we're, like, talking or not. I'm not really too concerned with that. But, uh, you know, I've seen her post on the IG. Like, me, I'm not tripping over it. I'm just, we in the, we in the same, uh, how do I say it? We in the same agency with each other so there's like no getting away from that but the way i handle the situation it's just like i'm gonna fall back you you can keep looking at my stories you can keep looking at my pictures and all that but you're gonna see me glow up you know but like but that's not this is not about a braggadocious thing um i seen on her story she posted she did a uh tiktok video and you know she you know she she still looked good like you know she was looking good I guess her body getting right. Um, I guess she mentally getting herself right. And I'm, I'm not being on no simpish. I'm not like I want to fiend over her or anything. But she did a TikTok video of like, you know, I guess showing her glow up in her body. I guess getting getting her mind right. She's a little cuckoo sometimes. But um, she posted that. And then she posted another TikTok. Like, I guess her video being uh, deleted or not, I'm sorry, it was like hitting community guidelines or something. They said it was like nudity or anything. And then her ex told her, ha ha, I, I got you now. You can't you can't be uh, posting on TikTok. I got your video uh, blocked or whatever. And this is the thing. What's going on, G? Um, this is the thing I want to tell guys, man. It It makes you look weak and pathetic that you as a man are wasting your time going out of your way tripping over this woman who who has moved who has moved on and don't want you anymore right she don't care she don't even care about you no more but it makes you look bad because you're going on your phone Oh, I'm going to keep messing with her and keep bugging her and keep praying off for her downfall because she makes you feel a certain way about things. And I tell guys all the time, man, you know, I still promote this. Block your exes on the social media, block her, block her number, you know what I'm saying? So you can figure out life, whether she did you wrong or not. Guys really have to take this analogy and you know what I'm saying and, and do better for yourselves because it just shows how you have a week and it still shows to her that you're on her mind meanwhile it should be the other way around the other way around is if you want your ex or the chicks that dished you you have to completely blank that out of your mind and focus on what's in front of you head down first 
um like i always say like i said in the last video working out um you know whatever whether it's a college trade your job or you know a business um you know boss up on that oh my god man these auto videos boss up on that um you know mentally you know get yourself active you know, uh, um, read more books, meditate, you know, not proof to her how much you a better man. I tell guys all the time, when you go through a breakup, your your objective is, okay, I'm going to do all this work so I can make her regret even losing me. That is not how life's supposed to be like. Life is supposed to be about you being a better person, whether the person you dated is out of your life or not, or people who done wrong to you are not around. You should always do better for you, fellas. Not to be sitting there with this beta energy. Man, um, man, fuck that bitch. Uh, I'm gonna keep making her life miserable. Mm, man. Shoot, she ain't gonna be fucking other dudes. Oh, excuse my language, YouTube. She ain't gonna be messing with other dudes. And, 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 and I can still see it. Bro, she, like, like I say all the time, these women don't care. Like... Steph is Cole put out a video why women move on fast. I didn't watch it. I kind of have an idea. I mean, I will watch it eventually. They move on faster. They can move on into a relationship faster. And there's and as a guy, you shouldn't even be worrying about that. You should be worrying about how do I get better as a human being so I can uh, um get better chicks. How do I get better chicks into my life? Because when you Erase that stuff out of your mind. This is why I say blocking, you know, bad people, blocking your exes, this, that, and the third. Blocking them, you're you're not, eventually it'll fade out. It take, like I tell guys, man, in breakups or, you know, you do, do dumb stuff, it's going to take some time. But when you use the right time to, okay, I got to make these videos. Okay, I got, um, I, I, got, I got a fashion show. Um, I, I got to get in the studio. I got to write. You know, when you focus more on that, eventually, you know, the girls that did you wrong or, you know, the girls that you decide to break up with fade away out of your life. You don't see them on your social media platforms. And then on top of that, too, like there was a video where I talked about, OK, one girl didn't like me and then three other better looking chicks came around into you know my atmosphere see but that all makes sense is when okay you don't you don't like me right i cannot stress over it, it it's gonna hurt a little bit right like to, you're a human it's gonna hurt you a little bit but i have to understand that your life still moves on better chicks are always gonna come around like i tell guys all the time there is two point four billion pretty females in the world it's not worth it killing your mental rolodex over one i tell god it's hard it hurts but you cannot be stressing over one for a long period of time two months and all that you're like it's you you gotta get yourself active fellas but doing this beta crap um, you, you got her number still, you, you sitting there stalking, stalking on like a TikTok or the IGs and uh, like, yo, like you, you like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, these women get dug out as soon as, the, as soon as the breakup happens, they say you have one or two weeks. These women like give themselves one or two days to go after another, another dude. And while you were while you were dating her, she probably already knew who had next to beat the guts up, to beat them cheeks up. But you sitting there making a buffoon out of yourself after work and just sitting there making this uh, making a big deal out of one crazy psychotic chick, man, over nothing. The guys who are in the top tier they don't do that. They just sit back like, you know what? I got my purpose still. I got to do this. I got these other chicks in my rotation. I don't need that. But when you average 
sitting there hurting yourself mainly over this one woman, you look crazy. There was this one video, right? And it made it, it really makes a lot of sense too. He this guy said, and I'm gonna end it because I gotta go to work soon. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta go to work soon. He said, Don't sit there and wish nothing but death to you. Cause, cause guys do that because you know, the woman that hurt you, you want you want karma to hurt them back, or you you wish you can do something back to them. He said the most craziest thing. Wish them well and just understand that you have to walk away. Point blank period. There's nothing you can do about it. That's what she wanted. That's what the new digging stick she wanted. Um, you know, the new man she wanted. There's nothing you can do but just walk away. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it was the most common sense thing. That's the thing I try to promote. I mean, I don't I don't say, you know, wish your ex as well, but it's like you have to walk away and take accountability. I allowed this person, this two-faced person or like I allowed this 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 bad person in my life and I take responsibility for it. But I also too got to understand, yo, I got to move on. And that's what guys do. Like Men with this, this, uh, you know, I want to harm my ex mentality. You don't get nowhere because you doing all that. You could have, you could have possibly went out to the club and probably, you know, met a new chick right then and there. But you sit at home or you sit on your break talking to your boys over some chick, man. Meanwhile, she's already ready to get on her knees and suck off the new dude or, or, Already, um, you know, give up what's f fat back there to another dude. Shout out to Steph's code. And it, it makes no sense, guys. It makes no sense. Understand to learn to leave them alone, guys. It really don't make no sense. This is why I tell guys, block your exes. Anybody got a problem with that? Disagree with me? Say it in the comments, man. I'm out.